Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about how to uh, more or less reinvigorate yourself uh, whenever you're stuck on a painting project. Uh, currently I am painting ogres. Um, I don't know, I've showed you guys a few of them. There's actually a couple just right here. Um, and I've been working on those for freaking ever, basically almost since the beginning of the year. Um, and it's now April and I'm still not done with them. Uh, they've been one of those projects that I was in love with at first and the idea of it. And as I kindly, kind of slowly trudged along through them, um, they, they're not super dynamic and, uh, the amount the like what you're painting really doesn't change a whole heck, heck of a lot in between models. So they kind of became like space Marines to me. Um, where you're painting the same thing over and over I mean, you're painting the flesh and building it up and you're doing the belt, their weapons and their pants and their shoes. And then you're pretty much done. And, uh, there's really no extra details outside of like their mustaches change, uh, between guys. So as time's gone on, I've become more and more stagnant and more and more times kind of stretched out, uh, in between each painting section, which has really killed the progress of these guys. Uh, really, there's only about 15 to, mm, no, there's maybe 20 models, but it's really slowed down my progress. Um, and it really only should have taken me maybe like a month and a half, maybe two months if I was going slow at it to get all those guys done. Uh, but because I lost that, that fire, that, you know, that spark that just makes me want to get downstairs and finish him, um, it's really killed that. So to... While I was getting ready this morning, I was thinking, you know what, there's a way I know that I can rekindle that. And I was going to tell you guys that um, essentially going in and uh, learning about your army that you're working on uh, kind of does it for me. Because I know anytime, um, like the Independent Character podcast, um, great podcast if you like 40k, by the way, the guys are super awesome, super positive. They're definitely fanboys, and uh, they keep the hobby very much alive. Um, but essentially, they do these things called a uh, show of force. And they basically go through a lot of the lore and kind of how the armies are set up and, like, their hierarchies and stuff. And um, they talk a little bit of tactics and some of the things along those lines as well. But uh, they really bring the army to life uh, whenever they're talking about it. And there have been... I listened to their Grey Knights one, I wanted to start a Grey Knight army. I had sold my Dark Eldar off to another guy, and um, I listened to their Dark Eldar one, and I wish I hadn't sold them off in it. It just kindles that flame a little bit, and brings them to life whenever you listen to like these podcasts, or lore videos, or even reading books about your army and stuff. Because um, it just gives it that, I don't know, for me, this that's what does it for me. Uh, I don't know if it gives it that realism or if, I'm not exactly sure, but whenever I listen to a podcast or do something along those lines, it just reignites that flame. So the other day I was on Facebook, uh, oh, pardon me, and uh, I was reading kind of through some of the Facebook pages and I came across an ogre's post and it was about gut magic and how um, to spew forth magic and this is the old world by the way i don't think it's inclusive with sigma or anything like that anymore i'm not 110 percent sure i haven't gone over there war scrolls yet um but um gut magic uh for the ogres is that's essentially how they spew forth magic is uh their leader or whoever their sorcerer is has to eat certain things like if they take a handful of bones and throw it in their mouth and start chewing it up and crunching as they snap and break and stuff. Um, he's spewing curses at the, at the unit that he's attacking or whatever. And that unit's bones start breaking and snapping and their skulls start crushing in and things like that. So, um, that, and there's one called something like the great maw and has to do with something eating something. And it opens a great rift in the ground and causes all of your enemies to fall into it and it slams shut and they're, their, you know, the rest of their lives is eternal suffering, blah, blah, blah. So basically, um, that kind of gave me a little bit of a boost. Uh, I really haven't read a whole heck of a lot on the Ogres, um, but I've recently been getting into some of the Warhammer fantasy uh, before Sigmar happened. Um, 
I've been getting into some of that lore and stuff like that. And as you can see right here, I got a mint 2011 uh, Tomb King's White Dwarf because that's one of the armies I'm super fascinated with. Um, and I don't know why. I mean, their lore is pretty cool. It's interesting. There's a lot of um, sabotage and stuff like that that happens between the royal families and whatnot. And, like, the lore is interesting. And um, so I kind of like them. But, um, yeah, so just getting in there and finding um, either lore, a podcast, um, shoot, even battle reports, seeing fully painted minis on the table and watching people play with them and enjoy their models and stuff might encourage you to uh, rekindle that flame a little bit. Either that or getting together with a friend uh, who likes to paint. You guys just hang out and paint for a little while. I mean, it might take some of the mundaneness, I don't know, some models become like that, especially if you're doing like a lot of troops or something like that. Um, it can kind of drag into the ground and become difficult to continue on. But by rekindling that flame through whatever does that for you, um, I think it'll help kind of push you back up to finish that stuff up. Uh, so I'm going to listen to some podcasts about ogres and some other things today so that I hope I can get kind of pumped back up and back and ready to go for uh, to get these guys done because I only got about have the the troll not the troll but the giant and then I have like um, I'm pretty sure I just have to put the the Mod Podge paste stuff uh, the Sterling Battlemire or whatever that Games Workshop uses and spread that onto the bases and then I'm pretty much done so anyways hopefully that'll get me through and I uh, hope that advice pushes you guys on to uh, finish up your models. Anyways, thanks guys. Have a good one and uh, enjoy your weekend.